what's going on my people it's your big homie cooks are great aka ctg and in today's video i'm going to be giving you guys some tips to help you guys better utilize footwork and distance management in undisputed to help you guys get more wins now shout out to one of my subscribers who hopped into my youtube live yesterday and said hey you know what crooks is there any way you can give us a tipped video on how to better utilize footwork and how you utilize distance management in undisputed so i thought hey you know what i'm gonna give the people what they want i'm gonna make a video and give you guys some tips on how i utilize footwork to get wins and distance management as well so in order to do so we're going to be utilizing sugar ray leonard here in the welterweight division um so the first thing that i want to point out if you're going to be trying to utilize footwork and uh distance management you want to choose a fighter that has good movement and agility so right here you see sugar ray leonard has 97 uh movement speed with 94 agility uh and his accuracy and punch speed are kind of a bonus too because he has 94 and 95 but you know you want to utilize somebody that's very very quick on their feet because that's going to make for a lot easier of a time uh if you're trying to implement you know the footwork style and the and the distance management style now the other reason i like sugar ray leonard too for this is because he has distance keeper so it's going to increase the damage on the jabs which is the tool you're going to need to use a lot of if you're trying to uh, utilize footwork and uh, distance management so without further ado let's go ahead and get into the fight that i have for you guys here on the video all right and here we are my people we are in the fight with sugar ray leonard we're taking on a sergio martinez all right let's let's take our time the first thing with the first tip that I have for you with footwork is always take your time against your opponents, man. Get a good feel in the first round for what they're trying to do. You see my opponent is mixing it up high-low. We're cutting angles. Popping the jab off. He's a jab. Power jab. He doesn't walk into it. And you guys see how I'm creating exit angles for myself. I'm creating exit angles for myself. So I'm not just backing up straight. I'm cutting an angle off. And that's something that I see not a lot of people do in Undisputed. They just kind of tend to, to back straight up, back straight up, and then allow their opponents just to trap them. And that's not what we're trying to do here at all. We're throwing strikes, and then we're, we're kind of just creating exit angles for ourselves. Make him whiff. Oh, we missed on the two-piece, but it's okay. Jab. Jab straight. Nice two-piece. Made him whiff. Let's take our time. Now, the one thing that, that is really, really good about footwork in this game is it also helps... It also helps against over-aggressive opponents, like what we're going up against right now. We really got to take our time, though, in order to do so. It's right here, just taking our time, working the body. Not rushing anything. All right. And a solid first round. But you guys see what we're doing with the footwork. We're kind of frustrating him because he wants to step inside. Because I believe Sergio Martinez has inside fighter. Um, I'm not sure about in this weight class if he has it or not. But he, he can be a very, very good inside fighter if you allow him to be. But you see, we're circling off. We're not just moving back in a straight line. We're cutting angles. And we're making them whiff. And that's going to pay a lot of dividends for us later on in the fight. Because as we all know, stamina right now, if you're not careful with it, it will gas you the hell out, man. So right here, we're taking our time. Popping the jab off still. Jab straight. Oh, he ripped to the body. Now, this is something you guys are going to see a lot of, too. When people feel like you're utilizing footwork and trying to play the keep away game, they will start to try to launch off body attacks. So you got to be aware of that as well. All right, we're going to start using the back lens as well. And I know I preach this a lot to you guys about utilizing the back lunges, the quick back step with just your, flicking your left step back. 
But it can be very, very beneficial to you, man. It can. And I can't stress that nearly enough. Right here. Do out a power jab. We missed on it. There's a jab. See if he steps forward. He doesn't. There he did. All right. Oh, we missed on it. We missed on it. Oh, he's missing a lot. Start a faint. To the body, to the body. Lead hook straight. Oh, we missed. We missed, we missed. Rear hook, lead body hook. Get out of the way. Nope. Power jab. Slide up out of there. Create an angle. Rip to the body. And now you guys see, we're being very unpredictable with what we're doing. Sometimes we're engaging, sometimes we're not. Like right there, we landed a crispy clean combination. Straight, slide out. Woo! And now you see, he just, he really doesn't have any answer, man. He's kind of getting baffled a little bit by the footwork. So here in the third round, we're going to keep doing the same. And look, we notice we don't even have the loose footwork turned on. We don't. We're doing all this just with regular stationary footwork. Right there. Oh, he didn't walk into that. Okay. It's faint. So the next tip that I'm going to have for you guys too is when you're utilizing footwork and you get in a, an established rhythm like what we have right now, Throwing a feint in can be very beneficial too. Like right there, he threw a feint, got him to throw a couple strikes. He missed. Woo! Tracking kind of got us right there. Ooh, up top. Made him whiff. To the body. Ooh, nice. He's ripping body shots now. Nice lead hook. All right, so now he's closing the distance a little bit better. So let's go ahead and turn on loose footwork. Now we're getting him a little we're getting him a little frustrated because he's taunting us. Right there, nice straight. He misses on that one. To the body. Jab. Nice lead hook. Nice lead hook. Power jab. Another one. Nope. Blocking the body. Ooh, two piece. Ooh, hurt him with the rear hook. Okay. Let's walk him down a little bit. Get him right there up top. But notice how I didn't waste a lot of my stamina trying to get that finish. Because I know more times are going to present themselves, especially with the way that we're fighting right now. We're utilizing really, really good footwork. And we're landing heavy, man. We're landing real, real heavy. And look at the stamina. 87%. Sitting pretty right now. And we're winning all three rounds. So what I'm telling you guys to utilize, you guys can see. It's making for a lot easier of time. Especially if you're an outside fighter. Oh, we missed right there. Oh, we hit him to the body. Alright, let's keep moving. Jab straight. Power jab. Nope, he's missing. Ooh, we missed to the body though. Right, let's go with a jab to the body. There it is. Nope. Now Sergio Martinez is one of those guys that has a really fast straight. So we gotta be aware of that as well. Alright. Cut an angle. Get out of there. Get him with the right hook. Nope. Missed. So you see him. Now he's just kind of... He's just trying to put his head in our chest and pressure forward. So let's keep them angles. Keep them angles. Nope. Pop the jab off. Oh, he missed on that one. Jab. 
Power jab. He missed on the hook. Down low. Up top. Oh, I tried to step away from that and kind of just slide, but I did it a little bit too late. Double body shot. Ooh. Mm, nice straight. Oh, we threw an uppercut and we missed. So right there at the end of the round, literally he landed the damage because we missed on a couple of shots. And we can't be doing that. We just got to just gotta stick to what, what, what got us here. You know what I'm saying? So let's continue to utilize the footwork. I don't know why Sugar Ray Leonard is standing like that. It is what it is. Jab. Step out. Faint the jab. Faint the hook. Right there. Nice two-piece. Nope. To the body. Nice two-piece. Mm-mm. Circling away from that straight. Again. To the body. Fade the straight. Fade the jab. Nope. Double shots to the body. Still just staying patient with it. Staying patient with it. I don't know how that straight just hit me, but all right. To the body. Up top. Heard him. Caught him. Just taking our time. See what I'm saying? Just taking our time, utilizing the footwork, kind of playing it on the outside. It's a, it's a perfect way to play, man. It, it really, really is. And now you see the di all the work that we've been doing, all the misses that we've been having with utilizing footwork. Now we're sitting in a really, really good spot where we're probably up two or three rounds. And all he really has is that straight. To the body. Double body shots. Watch out for a power straight. Yep, there we've seen it coming. All right, it's the end of the fifth round. But a very, very clean round from us right there. And you see, we're still sitting at 79% stamina. So, all right. So, now we're going to play footies with him a little bit. Hop in and out of range. Right there. He misses on the jab. Pop him with one. Another one. Watch that straight. Whoop. Out of the body shot. Uh, rip it to the body. Let's help with that stamina lossage on him. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Power jab. Jab straight. Lead hook. Ooh. That lead hook didn't land. I'm surprised, man. I'm really, really surprised. That power lead hook. Ooh. So faint. He's slipping underneath shots that are not real. To the body. To the body. Ooh. He landed a nice check hook, though. Nope. Mm -mm. Ooh. Very nice. Very nice. See how quick that straight is, man? The southpaw straights are ridiculously fast. Oh, we almost heard him. We almost heard him. Nope. To the body. Nope. Heard him again. Power jab. Up top. It's just the way it goes. Just the way it goes. The footwork. The footwork is nasty when you be using it the right way, man. And this is, this is why I wanted to make this video to show you guys exactly how I utilize it and some tips that I help myself with winning fights like this. Because this kind of this kind of play style right here is tough to do. And you can get caught up in 
you can get caught up in uh in in bar fights. You know what I'm saying? Ironically, we're in a bar, but you can get caught up in brawling if you don't know how to utilize the footwork. And see, we're still taking angles. Oh, as we drop him right there, we're still taking angles and kind of just cutting away his power strike. So he's wanting to go with that power straight. We're taking it away from him. And I think it's, it is a wrap, man. This guy's giving up. We got the clean KO. He had enough. The footwork just got to him. And I think he actually, oh, I, I thought he actually might have rage quit, but he didn't. Right there, got the clean KO. And look at that. His stamina was cooked. 43% to 71 for us. And, I mean, we're sitting pretty, man. Sitting pretty with the footwork and the distance management. We did a really, really good job. We didn't need to throw a lot of power punches. We only threw 57 in six rounds, which is really, really good. So, yeah, that's how you want to utilize footwork. And that's how you want to utilize distance management as well to help you guys get more wins in Undisputed. But that's it for the video, my people. If you guys have any questions, please drop a comment in the comment section, man. And let me know, is there ways that you guys are utilizing footwork and distance management to help you guys get more wins in Undisputed? Because if so, I want to hear your the way that you guys are us, utilizing it so more and more people can learn how to fight this way without necessarily always needing to brawl in every single fight. But that's it. Make sure if you guys are new and if you guys enjoyed the video to slap that subscribe button as well as slap that like button so that way this video does get tossed into the YouTube algorithm. But until next time, my people, take it easy, be safe, enjoy the rest of your guys' day, afternoon, and evening, depending on where you guys are watching this from. And I will see you guys in the next video.